Court with USA Hockey here at the Harbor Center. We're in semifinal action. The United States beat the Czech Republic 5-0. They will advance to the gold medal game against familiar foe Canada, and the United States is hoping to bring home their first gold medal since 2011. Rebecca Gilmore was awarded Player of the Game honors for the United States after her two-goal, two-assist performance. We were able to catch up with head coach Joel Johnson, several players, and two-time Olympian Monique Lamoureux after the game and to see what's up next against Canada. We're here with two-time Olympian Monique Lamoureux. Now, Monique, let's go through. There are three power play goals tonight. What's the big takeaway from that? The U.S. has worked on their power play throughout this tournament. They focused on it a lot in their one-hour practice yesterday, probably spending 20 minutes on it. And so they converted on three power plays today. Rebecca Gilmore, Sam Davis, and Melissa Samuscavage, all with power play goals tonight. And the forward line of Samuscavage, Rock, and Gilmore, Gilmore and Samuscavage with two goals and two assists tonight. So that line really carrying the U.S. forwards tonight. That line was unreal. What do you expect for them tomorrow night in Canada's game? I would imagine that Canada is going to really key on that line as they've been the most productive line for Team USA. But tomorrow they're going to want production from all four lines, all four lines generating opportunities. And, and that forward core, they're, they're probably characterized as having a lot of speed and they're going to really want to use that tomorrow night. And you've played Canada before in gold medal games. What should they expect? What should these girls be doing tonight and tomorrow morning really to focus in and go get that gold medal? Well, they were tested in the first game. They got to play Canada, so I think they're going to know what to expect. They're going to know it's going to be a loud crowd, a big crowd, and a pro USA crowd, but they just want to use that energy to their advantage. They know what to expect out of Canada. Canada's going to be better than they were a week ago, but Team USA is also better from that first game as well. Perfect. Thank you so much, and we'll see you after the Canada game. You know, the, the challenge is to recover well. Our, the good news is uh, we've got a great staff, and, and the, the players have been uh, signed, you know, uh, signed on to that all, all week. Uh, so they're on board with our recovery and our rest and, and everything. So uh, it's a great thing to have a routine, and, and so I feel good about uh, what we're going to do tonight, tomorrow, and, and as we prepare. So hopefully both teams are coming in uh, rested and ready. Um, you know, we just went out there and we played for each other um, and really just, you know, tried to have a great time. Um, you know, some of us, this is our last world, and, and, you know, this that could have been our last game, and we just want to make the most of it. We knew, you know, if we just keep skating, like, we're so fast, and just use our speed and just keep going and keep pounding them. we got to come out hard. We can't be flat-footed at all. I mean, it's just it's just a matter of who wants it more, I think. I mean, if we're, we have the will, I believe. Tomorrow night's gold medal game will stream on FastHockey.com at 7 p.m. Eastern. For continued coverage of the U18 Women's World Championship, go to USAWomen'sHockey.com and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.